It is February 18th, 2021. It's also my birthday. And also the last lesson until tomorrow's review. So perfect timing for me. As I'm learning, I am as God created me. Okay. So the lesson says that misery comes from this strange belief that you are powerless. And that happens to all of us. Being helpless is the cost of sin. So if we feel like sin is real, then God must not be. Okay. Love him or attack him. Right? The Son of God cannot be powerless. So if we believe in Jesus, if you want to call it that, for example, uh, we have known Jesus to have done miracles. Okay. And because we are separating ourselves from the masters, if you want to call it that, then it makes it impossible for us to see that we also have the ability to do miracles as well. That's why it's called A Course in Miracles. So when I was learning, uh, reading the text, not just the workbook, there's four questions that you want to ask yourself, okay? Do I desire a world I rule instead of one that rules me? Do I desire a world where I am powerful or rather helpless? Do I desire a world which I have no enemies and cannot sin? And the last one, which they said is the most fearful is, and do I want to see what I deny because it is the truth? Okay, so basically being able to have this revelation, if you want to call it that, that's I am as God created. You cannot sin. You cannot be unholy. You cannot be redeemable. Okay? You cannot have this redemption of who you are because, again, we try to identify with these stories that we've created. And if, again, sin is real, then God must not be. Okay? So you have to understand that whom you attack, you cannot heal or want to heal, right? So same thing with people that you love as much as yourself, right? Uh, you would want to love your strangers and your neighbors as much as you love your family, as much as you love yourself. So it should be unconditional, undiscerning, unequivocally. And it's something that you want to be able to choose, okay? You want to be able to say, is this what I would see right what you would like to see do i want this choose to see the world without an enemy okay so as you are starting to understand that you create everything in every moment whether it's through your energy equivocally whether it's creating something proactively or even reacting right you have this person environment transaction this is the vehicle that you're using and now you're starting to choose to see things to your advantage, okay? Is this what you want to see? Do you want to see the ill will in people or do you want to see the possibility of maybe healing them or helping them or, you know, praying for their <laughs> well-being, right? So this is how you heal the past and make the future free, right? The present is now accepted as it is and every moment to be out of time you honor yourself, right? So every moment that you are now granted is allowing you to be present, okay? Which means that every moment that you are in time means that you're out of time, okay? Because the past, present, and future are all intertwined. That means that everything that was, is, and will be is the same thing that, you know, is being, <laughs> bees, and is becoming, if that makes sense. So as you are now allowing that to intertwine with yourself because you are now being part of the whole creation, right? Reality is now experiencing yourself. It is now acknowledging you as you are, you know, your acknowledgement as you, as you're now destroying these idols that you used to have, okay? And there was something that's always you know like hit me so hard which is 
that you will be pulled by your own destiny, by your own karmic commitment. You've chosen the ultimate destiny. So it's not my will, it's thy will. And something that I learned a couple of days ago from the Upanishads is that you are what your deep driving desire is. As your desire is, so is your will. As your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. And that's what you're choosing now, right? You're living your purpose, you're living out your destiny by your own karmic commitment. Okay, it's being pulled. Okay, this is being pulled by that which you are attracted most to, which means that yourself is trying to manifest in the present time as it all intertwines and unfolds within itself at the same time. Okay, so you are as God created you. And I am as God created me, which is why we say namaste, right? I bow to the internal divinity, sacred masculine, divine feminine within you. And that's what we're respecting in each other, okay? People that are lost, you know, they're seeking God and love in the wrong places. And this also is to be duly noted that when the spirit thinks that the body is not necessary anymore, it will let it go. Okay, so that's really what occurs. Everything is just supposed to way. It's supposed to be the way it's supposed to be, right? Because it's not any other way. And everything led to this point, having this moment, as I'm having this conversation with you. That's it. Okay. So the more you're accepting, the more you're loving, and you do that with yourself and others and the world in totality. And of course, you're allowing yourself to practice and learn love at the same time, allowing you to understand, do you want to see what you've denied? <laughs> because it is the truth. And that's really where it comes down to, right? Everything that you've shun away from, if that makes sense, everything that you've hid away from, the possibility of having a better life, right? That is going to be shining in your face, right? And you choose to open your eyes or not, right? So, Plato's Cave, you choose to unshackle yourself and see something that is beyond you. And the only way that you see what is beyond you is by knowing that it will pull you towards that. And by connecting to the source of what you are, you become more of what you are. God bless. Have a birthday to me. See you guys next time. Peace.